Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and welcome back to episode 7 of the 4 Tribes of FTB. Um, today's episode, we're going to be working towards getting this Soul Shard uh, to a tier 5. Um, as you can see, it has... I'm sorry, this isn't the one. This is a regular zombie Soul Shard. We need to get the other one, which should be in one of these chests right here. No, that's a Creeper. Wait, Zombie... Creeper... Where did my soul shard go to? No, no, no. Creeper. Zombie. Uh. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Last night before I recorded, uh, well, I couldn't record, I should say, I went to the nether and I found and killed myself as zombie pigman. Apparently, he either killed something else first with it, or somebody else died with it. <laughs> so I guess we'll be going back to the nether. Um, but after that, um, the goal is to level that thing up all the way to tier 5. No, I'm not going to stand here grinding in this episode. Um, <clears throat> the plan right now, at least, is to... Um, see if I can't create at least a somewhat of a stable age and go exploring in there and collect a whole bunch of souls from the spawners that appear all over the place in those ages. So let's see if I can kill one of these guys here without dying myself. Get one that's kind of isolated from everybody else. <laughs> Got him. And zombie pigman, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Not quite sure what happened there. Maybe, I think when I came into the nether um, last night, there was a creeper here, so that might be the reason. Um, maybe I just didn't switch it off my hotbar before I killed the creeper or something. Um, <laughs> this is another thing. I logged on last night, came back here, and bam uh something happened to our base i'm assuming it was a creeper blast but uh don't know oh i might as well while i'm here grab all the pages and stuff you know what just to be safe, let's leave it up here. I can come back up here pretty easy. Let's go collect what we need, build the binder and all that uh, out in the overworld, and I'll be right back, and uh, I can bring it back up here or something. Hey guys, I was exploring around here and uh, found all this stuff here in this Thumbcraft uh, totem area. Um, I was exploring looking for, of all things, chickens. Um, need some feathers to make the writing desk. Fire protection? Fire protection, fire protection, and a rising page, along with a whole bunch of different uh, ingots here. Uh, so not a bad find at all. Oh, and there was a chicken sound I heard back there, if I would have been paying attention. There we go, where is he? Come on, feather. Yes. I think I only need one for what I'm doing, so that is exactly what I need. I'll meet you back at base when I have the rest of the resources. Okay, I got what I need for the book binder. Now, if I remember correctly, the book binder is the one you just place, and then you can actually combine it with some other stuff to actually make a book. Let's see if we can't place it like right there. Yeah, this is the one where you put uh, leather here. You get your book here after you put your pages in this section. Um. So I've got the glass I need to make the vials, or bottles, I guess they're called. Got some ink. No, that is not how you make it. How do you make the ink bottles? Ink vial. Oh, you need a water bottle. And two pieces of ink. Oh, boy. Well, let's go, go find us a water source. Can you use this? No, it has to be a source block. 
Okay, now we're in good shape. So I need this so I can copy pages. I've already got myself some paper. I just need to make a writing desk. Um, and also one of the ingredients for a writing desk, I believe, is this exact uh, item, the uh, ink vial. Well, it's just a glass bottle. That's not bad. Okay, so I can fill up. Hmm. I'll have to make some more. There we go. I need my feather. And of course I need the wooden planks, which I don't have. There we go. Writing desk. Okay, let's go put all this stuff together now. See if I can place this right. There we go. Okay, so I need the ink in this, so let's make the ink. Like that. Why can't you shift clicked up into your crafting area here? That's what I want to know. And paper goes in there, ink goes in there. Bingo. Get my glass bottles back, that's nice. Okay, so now I just need to um, get a notebook in here from Spawn and we'll be good to go. So let's head back to Spawn, grab the notebook, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've done all that. I've gotten the pages in here that I think I need. <coughs> and if you're wondering how we got these pages, these pages we all agreed to spawn in. Um, the reason, uh, in creative that is. Uh, before the game started, now the reason behind that is we didn't want to have to generate a bunch of just junk ages trying to find the pages that we truly needed and wanted. Um, so yeah, that's that's just the basic reason behind it, just to save the server a little bit of uh, lag during gameplay um, from extra ages being created, extra file size on the server, all that stuff. So just being nice to the server, basically. Um, let's see. I am going to need some leather not having any available to me in there. Let's grab some wheat. We'll go feed the cows. Actually, let's go back to spawn, sleep through this night, come back here, all that stuff. So let me do that, and I'll be back once we have some leather in hand. Okay, I'm back. Um, our trusty cows out there provided us with a couple pieces of leather. Um, also, I did not want to leave my notebook out here I put it back in the secure storage back in spawn. So here it is. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. Um, really don't have the resources for to try that too many times. Just because it's a pain to get everything. Um, got some more soul shards. I'm going to need that other piece of leather and some paper. Paper's down here. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't want to forget to create a linking book back home. Otherwise, I'll be stuck there forever. I guess no one will steal my head at that point, but that's not really very gamesman-like uh, or sportsman-like. There you go. got a book. Let's make it a linking book right back here. Let's make a book stand for when we get there so we can place it properly. Okay, and then let's do one last thing, cook that up, and we'll take that with us, and we'll be ready to jump into that age, um, give it a go. In fact, let's make another book stand for that age. And we're good to go. Let's put the weed back, too get rid of the resources we don't need here so we don't lose anything that's not necessary I keep the food with me I'm gonna keep the soul shards with me actually so that I can um, use them to level up this zombie pigman one um, and if I haven't said it already probably did but if I haven't uh, the whole purpose in the zombie pigman one is so we can get 
unlimited supply of materials. Where should we put this? Right here. Perfect spot. Can we name this in here? No. Can we name it in here? Yes. The Age of Ages. Why did I name it that? Because hopefully I get lots of pages from my ages. Linking will call them on the hotbar just in case it's a mess. And let's go. Create a bunch of server lag. <laughs> That's also part of the reason I'm doing this now. No one else is on the server. Um, ooh, nice supply of chickens at least. And I see them having some type of negative effect. That can't be good. Must not have written it correctly or something because it's not going to be perfectly stable. I don't have the effect yet, which is good. Um, I'm glad I didn't have my soul shards on my bar because they would have been chicken in, chicken ones at that point. Um, let's go ahead and set this down so we have a safe way back home. The sun is setting. The moon is already up. Stars are out. Let's go ahead and set a waypoint. I'm doing this because I have, in the past, gone to an age and not been able to find my way home. Awful thing to have happen. So this is exactly what I came to look for. Um, let's get these on the hotbar. And let's dig down. Look at that. Okay, I'm just going to dig down right here. And here there's zombies up ahead. Should have brought my zombie one with me, I guess. Oh well. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get to the point where I can just walk right into the, the bottom of this hill. In fact, right there it is. Okay, here it goes. Ah. Where am I? Am I on like the edge of it or something? There we go. That is it, right there. Right by a chest. Let's grab anything that's good out of it. Eh, might as well. Steel sword, that could probably can be broken down. Let's just pop these chests so I can see in here better. And I am not seeing the spawner. Not a chest at least. Some books, we'll take those. Nose. But I am not seeing any spawners, not down here at least. So let's see if we can't head up a tad. And they can get in there with me now. So let's back up out of here. Yep, they're trying to shoot me. Okay, let's try plan B. I thought that the spawners were at the very bottom of these things. Apparently they're not. What I'm trying to do is just get in there and absorb the souls out of the spawners without taking any damage or taking as little damage as possible. Is always preferred. Okay, they should not be able to get in there with me. There's one there. It's skeleton oriented. Let's go for it. Ah! I don't think it worked. 
You can still do that, I hope. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Don't want to die in this age. I'll be stuck here forever. Um, let's just wait till we heal up here. That wasn't going quite as according to plan. So let's attack us a little different here. I know that spawner's over on this side now. We might even be best off waiting for day, if that's at all possible. While we're doing that, let's go explore this. Hopefully no creepers are inside. No. Good. Let's take this over a water bucket. We can block that off, and let's explore. What do we get? Woodlands, boundless sky, lava lakes. That's a good one to have. Autumn woods and Mushroom Island. Okay, now how are we going to get these things home is the important question here. I don't have the materials. Let's see if I can make a notebook. Don't remember the recipe. Notebook. Three pieces of leather and a crafting grid. Don't have any crafting grid. We can chop down a tree. That is a very good book to have, though, because that's one of the ones the, the other guy said. Well, if we can find it, we'll take that one. We, that'd be nice, but it's not really needed. But that pretty much gives us the ability to create an age that... Uh, limitless fuel f fuel and things like that. Plus possibly also some traps or something. So let's turn that into a crafting table. Crafting table lets us create a notebook, and the notebook lets us hold all sorts of pages. And I'll show you a secret about these uh, miscraft temples here. That's what I like to call them. I'm um, here in just a second. If you take your axe break. I think it's this corner. Nope, must be the other one. And actually, it's been random every time I've tried. So you can see there's a chest there. Um, you can either break the blocks above it, or I usually just pop the chest, you know, break it open. Dense twilight forest, water, dungeons, eternal storm, dark skies, and caves. As you can see, that's a lot better than uh, what we got the other way around. Um, if you right-click on your notebook, you can just shift everything up into there. It's a page and then pick up more pages. So having a notebook with you when you're doing this exploration, if you're trying to go for pages, is the best idea because you can hold way more, let's just put it that way, way, way more uh, pages this way. As you can see, it's got a scroll bar over here, so it's got nice big fat inventory for you to, to fill up. Um, and while we're in here, while we wait for day, let's go ahead and collect some more books. They're always handy to have. Um, seems like I've been needing leather quite a bit lately. And this is a lot quicker than uh, killing cows. There we go. Jet back off is much faster. I know there's no other chest. At least I've never ever discovered one doing this. I'm just doing this for the books. And we're full. So let's get rid of some junk. There we go. Three books a pop isn't too bad, so nice supply of books. Doing this also gave me the ability to heal while we were in here. So I should be ready for the next battle with those guys. Um, can't tell if it's getting day or not. Not from in here. That's the moon rising or setting. Yeah, setting. No sun yet because the moon seemed to be moving quicker or was uh, pretty close to the sun. Like I got a 90 degree angle in the sky from the sun, or from the, yeah, from the sun. Um, where did that hill go? No, it's by water. There it is. There's not too many mobs around the outside of it. We can probably just try and jump in it right now. Yeah.
Plus we can also open up the top here. That's something I usually like to do on these uh, hills when I attack them. Um, the reason being... Sorry, right, somebody walking right beside me. Um, reason being when I open these up, um, it lets daylight in when it is day. That helps reduce the spawns inside. Whoa! Nice little jetpack escape there. Oh! Yeah! Getting close again. I might have to upgrade my armor on this suit. Um, just so it's sufficient. No sunrise anywhere. One thing about the jetpack, it's great for quick escapes and stuff. It makes you run so fast that sometimes it's hard to control. I don't mind the fast forward walking, but the sidestep, which I use all the time, it's just too quick. Don't want to chain charge up my souls on those. Ooh. You know what, let's go away. Let's do the wait for a day, like I said. Um, I'm just making those guys spawn more, being that close to it. So I'm gonna stop recording and come back when it is day. Okay guys, I am back. Um, I made a quick pit stop back in the overworld. Also up there on top of that tree, you can probably see in the distance. I uh, chopped down some of the tree, cooked it up, made myself a nice supply of torches so we can get this thing light up, lit up internally. Um, let's just go at this thing now. I do see there's a creeper inside there. I know a creeper can deal a massive amount of damage in a short period of time. So let's do this. This is one of my tricks. I know cheaty but hey oh well let's go to this thing it unloads its chunk that should be far enough all the mobs that respawned I'm over 300 blocks away from that piece and this is even further so let's get a new set of spawns in there hopefully that creeper's gone now Going that hole. There you go. Let's light this thing up. Just attacking this with a steady head is the idea. Okay, there's the zombie one. There's the skeleton one. It's nice and lit up around both of those. None over there. Doesn't appear to be one over there. Let's go collect these guys. You can no longer do that, can you? Unless it's a shift click. Wow. Can no longer collect the souls that way. Well, that changes the game plan for today, guys. Uh, six, substantially. Um, I will double check the wiki here real quick. Make sure I'm not doing something wrong. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I was close. You have to have one of the souls absorbed, it says. So that's an angry zombie one. Let's see if that works on the angry zombie spawner down there. If that is an angry zombie. It is not. So I've got to kill this guy first. And of course he dies without me. Okay, so now in my inventory I have the skeleton one. So I should be able to. There we go. 200 easy souls. Now I just need to find myself a zombie somewhere. Um to be able to use that one. Now that might just be as easy as doing something like this. Blocking this guy off so he's in the dark. Leaving a hole open so we can get in there pretty easy. Seeing what spawns. 
We've got a zombie. Somewhere. Where'd he go? Hmm. Oh, that's where he went. <laughs> uh, let's get the zombies or a, a new shirt on the hot bar. Bingo. Zombie tier one. 200 more souls. Let's keep this going, guys. Let's go find another one of these hills. Now we've got the process built out. Um, it should be pretty easy. And these, the reason I went to the ages, um, what we've found in the past on other maps, is the ages are easy to find those hills, the Thomcraft, um, little totem things with the wisp spawners beneath them. All those type of items seem to be pretty easy to find. In fact, here is yet another spawner. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge because of the type of it is. There it is. Hmm. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with that one. Let's just take the chest instead. Protection 3, not bad. Some more ores. Just general goodies. Um, if you didn't notice, that great wood leaf turned blue when I looked at it. Um, that appears to be a bug when you have your up in this corner of the screen. Um, I have the tooltips turned on where I point at something and it says what it is, like that says oak leaves. Um, it seems to turn the uh, great wood leaves into silver wood leaves for some reason. But it's just a visual bug. It's not really actually changing what the block is. Be nice if it did. Be a good way to get a lot of... Uh, Silverwood saplings. I guess I've never really tried that. Come on, hill. Lots of age generation, train generation. My jetpack seems to be keeping up as far as in terms of energy use pretty well for the amount of flight I've been doing. Um, let's just stay on the ground, I guess. Seems to be load the chunks a little faster when you do that. I have to be sure I don't kill anything while I'm on the ground with these soul shards in hand. Oh, here's another. Miss Temple. Let's go ahead and have Beacon here. Ravines. Crystals. Oh, whoa, that's what we want. Right there. That's one of the key ones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice. Um, I say that's a key one because uh, you know, that, that allows us to make portals. Um, which is good to have. I mean, it's just a quicker way of transportation and, um, spoiler alert, possible traps. Mine shafts, mountain range, all not bad. We'll take them all. Sometimes these hills are easier to spot from the air, but it doesn't seem to load the chunks as quick. Um, well, I'm going to be doing this for a while where I run around, look for these, collect souls, try and get as many souls on these other shards as I can. Um, and then what I ultimately will do is use the anvil trick with soul shards, where you take two soul shards, combine them, they can be different types, and you end up with a higher tier of the first soul shard. 
I believe is uh, how it works, um, so that we can get that pigment spawner fully decked out, top level, tier 5. We can set up a trap around it, they all die, we collect the gold nuggets, gold swords, all that stuff, and then we can transmute from there to either um, iron, diamonds, ender pearls, however it's needed. So that soul shards mod in combination with equivalent exchange gives you a really strong resource um, as far as being able to collect things. Um, I did this in my what season two let's play. Um, ended up on a hill near a near a um, zombie pigment spawner, a Thawncraft zombie pigment spawner. And I just used that to my advantage because I went in there and taking these guys, there we go, went in there to do that so that, um, boop, 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 can't think. Uh, and I used the zombie pigment spawner to my advantage. Uh, to have resources, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. There is. There it is. I was going to say, is there not a... Nothing too overly exciting. Just some ores. And I'll take the emeralds for sure. Lay the wheat behind. Okay. Well, like I said, this is Tech Stack. Signing off on episode 7 of the 4 Tribes of FTB. Um, this coming up weekend, this Today I'm recording it on a Tuesday. This coming up weekend, weekend the peace will end and war will start. So um, be on the lookout for that. Or currently my plan is to record uh, as much as I can and upload videos one at a time, one per day. Um, so be on the lookout for a lot more episodes coming from me on my channels and the other guys. Bye now.